episode, we join the conversation for Bell Let's Talk Day, CHMCS St. John's Chop into Opera Reassurance, highlight the upcoming 100th anniversary ceremony in Vimy Ridge in France, and recap the Prime Minister's visit to Eight Wing Trenton. Welcome back to Defence Team News. I'm Shelley Van Hoof. And I'm Captain Shalako Smith. Here's what's going on Defence for the week of January 23rd. Did you know that one in five Canadians will personally experience a mental illness in their lifetime? January 25th is Bell Let's Talk Day, an initiative focused on raising awareness and encouraging dialogue about mental health. All Defence Team members are encouraged to take part in this opportunity to discuss mental health issues and what we can do to reduce the stigma surrounding them. A panel discussion about mental health will take place on January 25th at the National Defence Headquarters in Ottawa. The event will be live streamed on Facebook and Periscope, so if you can't attend in person, you can definitely check out the CAF social media accounts to follow along and watch afterwards. For more information on how you can hold your own mental health discussion in your workplace, visit the Bell Let's Talk page on the Defence Team Internet. HMCS St. John's recently joined the Standing NATO Maritime Group 2 on its way to the Mediterranean Sea. Operation Reassurance is part of Canada's support to NATO assurance and deterrence measures in Central and Eastern Europe. The deployment of HMCS St. John's demonstrates Canada's continued leadership on the world stage by making meaningful and enduring contributions to NATO. This includes performing different tasks ranging from participating in exercises to intervening in operational missions throughout the region. HMCS St. John's is replacing HMCS Charlottetown, which arrived in its home port of Halifax on January 13th after a successful six-month deployment on OP Reassurance. April 9th marks the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. The Government of Canada will mark this historic anniversary and commemorate the sacrifices of the First World War with a ceremony at the Canadian National Vimy Memorial in France. All those planning to travel to France to attend the ceremony must register online by February 28th. The registration is mandatory and attendees will need to provide a printed copy of their official e-ticket as well as a government-issued photo identification such as passport or driver's license on the day of the event. An official Government of Canada delegation will travel to France to attend ceremonies and events during the week of April 5th to 12th. Event information will be added to the Veterans Affairs Canada website as details are confirmed. To register and for more information, please visit the official Vimy website listed below. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently visited Eight Wing Trenton as part of his tour of Southern Ontario. Greeted by an honour guard at the base, Prime Minister Trudeau took part in physical training alongside members of the Canadian Army Advanced Warfare Centre and spoke at a special breakfast for military members and their families. Eight Wing Trenton is the Canadian Armed Forces' primary air transportation hub. In addition to air mobility operations, Eight Wing is responsible for search and rescue operations over a large area under the jurisdiction of the Joint Rescue Coordination Centre Trenton. CFP Trenton is also home to the famous Skyhawks. This parachute demonstration team is a subunit of the Canadian Army Advanced Warfare Centre. Well, that's it for us. We want to thank you so much for watching. See you next time. For Defence Team News.